not only, you know, established veterans in the FPS community, not only top streamers, but also the folks that have been there on ladder every single day supporting this game through playtests all the way here into launch. These folks who have grinded, put in the hours, showcasing their skills here for all of us and showing you fans the potential of this game. So thank you all so much for tuning in uh, and joining us here. And of course, the winner of this in this $5,000 prize pool. So not just bragging rights on the line cam as we get into the first fight here. For the game. Oh, and Cryptic with a double. Of course, it's going to be Cryptic to start things off. So, go. Takes him down. K2 at the second. So it's a bit more even despite that first double kill that Cryptic is keeping yeah, on is their drunk. side. And I can't even follow all of this. The, the kills are happening way too fast. It was one really big clap on the site and an Ooh. even faster response. Pray for our observers as this is now going on to one situation. The brats are going down, but Cryptic with the 5K. It's like, yo, I heard you were heard you were not talking crap. I heard you were praising me, and I wanted to be a part of showing why you should. Starting going having the performance you did in that last game, dropping like 30 kills, 34 kills, and then coming back into this now to start the game with a 5K. That's a statement, Cam. That is a statement. I know. Should have been a 6K. Then we then we would have just <laughs> stopped this entire final and given it to Team Detailed. Yeah, just, uh, we're good. Go. No, we're good. Uh, we saw. We've Take seen enough. We've seen enough. Stop it. They're already dead. We're good. We're good. <sighs> so now you're Team Tro. You just watched on stream. You just saw what happened. It's one thing to see it, Cam. It's yeah. another thing to experience. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, it's only pistol round. It's it, it's a bit different of an experience. But again, cryptic with the whisper. The support of the, the scanner bot taking market control. Oh, oh beautiful play there from Cryptic. How and is that both players dead? I, what? Where did how is this? Where did Ira go? The, the nanosphere backing them up and Oh, this is well, they're running from <laughs> Team True are running from Cryptic. They're running from the B side. They're gonna now take mid control into A. The util is coming in there. Oh my goodness. Just continuing to sort of force them in. I see picking up the kill on the Iris. Hoping to continue to try and make these openings here. You know, a little bit of damage pushing in the dust. Serious damage at close range. There we go. And now last player standing for K2. This one's going quick. And not a save round either. It's a bit of a light buy. So the economy won't look particularly great for Team Truro going into the third round. They won't be able to buy up uh tier four weaponry off of this so this could be the beginning of a snowball which again for we expected Truro to be able to at least take this map it was their map pick such a good start if you get one kill but no more reveal themselves after that again opting to pick up some weaponry here not the full save that we saw team shroud do with perfect consistency so the buy will be a little bit more scattered here, which, again, I'm not sure I'm upset about because, you know, the, the, the weapons in Tier 3, I look towards the Tempest especially sort of being my favorite in, the, in that realm um, in terms of sort of that the mid-class AR. I hope to see a little bit more of that coming out from these teams, I'll be honest, because, you know, I, those are guns that we've not seen quite as much of uh, over the course of this, these, these games so far. Do you forget Ira's Tempest domination from true. a couple of mills ago? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. If there is a team that will remind us that Tier 3s are as lethal as Tier 4s, it will be Team True, or specifically Ira. But speaking of which, they're going towards A, and another aggressive push outside. Not Market, but B Main. Oh, aggressive push down B Main here, and not really finding anyone. The this is a couple of times now we've seen this, the defenders going full send. And in fact, it is the A site that is the priority for these squads. So we'll keep an eye on that as we're looking to the force kind of pushing in towards Depot here in mid, playing really slow, looking for this initial pick. But look at how perfectly spread the defenders are, Cam. They are watching every single angle and leaving Spectres on the ones they can't, looking for these Spectre warnings. The one upside of that big resource dump onto Group B is that they were able to find the information oh. that it was empty, which means it was somewhere else on the map that they needed to defend from. But K2 found an opening up through mid. Finds two kills. Let me try and pick up the third here. Gonna just back up, reset, keep the health up. I like this. The damage has been done. The opening is created. 
now pushing in through a short icy you can look to try and pick up these kills trading up here onto the site doesn't have the awareness but does have the shots multiple kills coming in and that is going to be the full committal here onto the a site with the specter warning and the danger Spectre actually eliminated did you, that, that that looked like it almost made it onto the site itself i think it, i think it is. just a second behind oh no the elimination the before planted. Thankfully, the, the Zeus wasn't on that unit, so the Zeus still able to get planted. It's still a man advantage for Team Truo, and it's going to be a retake attempt through a fort. Ooh, and I thought Era was going to get both of them there. Era nicely done. This is now a 2v1 situation for detail to the illustrious team captain with the big gun. Needs to make this one happen, but a rough angle to try and play towards sight and laundry. One. Totally giving up on laundry. Just has to full commit. This is, yeah. this is picking away. It's basically the only play you can make at that point. Beautifully played there um, from Team Turo. And that's beautiful post plant positioning. Yeah, that thought that was fast. Post -plant positioning? Yeah, that's, that's hard. <laughs> so... Round goes back. Get close. Not going to be a complete steamroll for Team Detailed. And we had the economy surge in play as well. It being round four. So more money to work with. We'll see if Team Truo, all of them, buy up to tier four weaponry. Only two of them had weapons left over. So likely that they are able to do so. And looking at the defensive setup, Detailed again. Still going to be relying only on one player cryptic and taking market control. Fixing the go in, commit, chucking the bouncy ball out, and look to try and make something happen here. And with one piece of util able to completely scout down yeah. that hallway into market. Really big play there from Cryptic. Now knows that he can push out pretty much with impunity. A lot of free space. A lot of free information. And this is going to bolster the defense on the A side. Because they know yeah. that that's going to be where the rest of Truro are once again going to be leaning. Continue to push, of course, only can go so far because of the, you know, the walls. So only so far they're going to be able to push in here, but I don't think it's fine. Uh-oh. Unfo the snap! Oh my goodness, Dicey almost got that nice play though from Truro to pop that one back. And now this is going to be the opening down full send on the here field. onto the site, but Cryptic, the walls have dropped, the swing is coming through, jumping into behind, and now there's a ticking time bomb in the back of Team Truro. They've got to push into the site cam because they have a lurker in behind them. They've got to make a call, they've got to yeah, go, but... but they dropped the Zeus! Yeah, that's the problem. The lurker found the unit with the Zeus. They're no. going to have to run back and find that in under a minute. Cryptic is going for a fight! Oh... Gives himself up. There's still a player. Le oh, no, not anymore. Wait a second. Truro is finding an opening. The Zeus is able to get grabbed. Well, Detailed is here in time to stop that from happening. That was a disaster. I mean, of all the, you know, the Spectres to pick up, body sitting at the back there, finding the one that has the Zeus. Yeah. You could hear, you could see the play call. Push, side put. Wait, we don't have the Zeus. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is, the, that is the moment of terror if you're on the attack, having the long lurk, the full... Like, all the way, the player went all the way down from B main, all the way through the spawn, found that pickup, and you could have not been more disastrous there for Team True. Yeah, so when we have, when we've had these conversations about map control on the defensive side, you don't want to tunnel vision onto one moment because there, there will be a gap opened that the attackers can exploit. That goes both ways as well, and even though we agree that keeping the Zeus on an un- like on, on, on your specter in the back at the start is a good way it doesn't come it, it, it's not um without its own downsides which we just experienced here definitely a bit of a risk i feel i still think in general for sure you know uh, one of the more more optimal plays in positioning but still just showing yeah. how like you said how important it is to have that intel gathering coming in now from mid it seems like this is this is sort of the default totally giving up b and b mains and actually the long lurk is going to continue to sit there but the zeus is still sitting back so we need to see a situation where it could be oh. this is one thing that is a potentially a bad sign for team truo is ira getting shut down ira has been not an overwhelming but still a very powerful win condition for the team in their previous matches. So if they're not able to get up and running, they're not able to get up to speed, how much behind will that put them, especially when Cryptic, the star player, shall we say, of the day for Team Detailed, has themselves shown no sign of slowing down. 
significant stuff. And like we called out before, like someone needs to rise to the occasion on the other side. You need a foil. You need someone to start to put out the same level of attention grabbing plays like we're seeing Gertha making. Because it's all it's the space that they create. The presence of himself on the field is big. Nanosphere coming out, looking to try and go in here. Zeus has been planted. Zeus will go down at this A site. Trying to hold the angle here from Laundry. Find one. Nice dunk encrypted, but forced back. Teammate actually Harry. body blocked him there. That was big. But detailed swiping back in response, picking up two. Oh, but lurking in the back of sight. Truro, the one tap dirt nap, like you said earlier, bringing that back out. It's a 1v2 situation, holding on the site. There's three key angles to watch here, Cam. There's only one yeah. person. Well, that's also scary because, well, they're about to come back into this. A very oh. quick one versus two. Popping that wave scan before it can give any information, oh. but detailed has the angle. I was worried when Cryptic went down because they hadn't brought their unit to Laundry despite having the dual amps around. giving them the free ability to do so. They, their player, their, their other unit was still all the way buried deep in B main, but thankfully they were able to sprint back up and retake the site before it got too dicey. Of course, to hoof it back there, but still nicely done. And I think, again, it's so interesting that the wave scan cam, you've commented on it multiple times and really showing the value there because even though it didn't get off a single pulse, it still forced Tro to give up his positioning. Right. He still had to turn and shoot it. And because of that, the pre angle lineup, the, the fire was there. Tro, like, you'd have to have like NHL goalie reaction time to be able to try and pull that one back off. The pre fire was lined up. There's just not a whole lot you can do in that situation. So beautiful play there. Great use of the utility. Now we're finally starting to see a bit of a swap up from the attackers. It's going to be towards B, but already Cam feel like that's going to be guessed because the players are lined up cryptic looking to do some damage. They do this every single time. A bit slower this time around, perhaps expecting something. Detail gets the first, and then the double swing out from the low ground. All three members of Team Detailed are here, but not for three. Ira and K2 both getting kills of their own, so it is still even. But the map control is... Okay, never mind. Scrap all that. Truro found an opening. That's huge. That's actually massive. That just broke this map right open, going right down the middle. And mid control, we talked about it. It's such a key factor here on commons. This central, it's, it's such a long line of sight, but there's so many moments, opportunities to sort of, you know, you know, peek your way through and try and find these openings. And if you can, it just, again, just breaks the map wide open. Things have slowed down now. Cryptic looking to try and pick up another one of these kills. These teams are rotating over towards the B, the B side. A couple of lurkers in towards A. But the Zeus cam. The Zeus is still back in spawn. Yeah, one of the members. Well, no, they're, they're rotating from B over to A because it's spotted as free. What they don't know is that there is a player in depot. That, luckily, K2 doesn't oh, fully K2. check the corner. K2. This oh, could this ruin the round. Especially with Cryptic getting that kill there yeah. on Truro in market. That one's huge. The shot in the down. He turned! He didn't see him, though! <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what's that? Oh, no! Yeah, that moment of the double. I, sw I swear I could see the double take through the screen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Knife out. All problem. As Cryptic is finally <laughs> able to pick up K2 in response, though. It's a 3v1 situation. Not the spot you want to be in. Still, it's just, I'm still laughing at that. It was like a moment of like, if I don't react, maybe they won't react either. Yeah, it just jumps in the air, turns slightly, goes, oh, no. no. I'm dead. <laughs> <Just right back. laughs> Last round before, Last oh, round before half. And now it's five to one. Damn, I think, you know, a lot of us, given the performance that the team Tro showed earlier, I think they were favorites coming in the upper bracket, but being able to play a couple more games potentially here. I, mean, I know they were doing the warm up rounds and practice games in between here, but. Cryptic has been able to hold momentum in such a ridiculous way. Like, yeah. having a player have a pop-off game is sick. A player having multiple pop-off games is terrifying. Yeah. All right, guys, MVP I need Ira and my MVP to sit up so far, in their gamer chair. Looking at the numbers, we don't have, like, the stats laid out right in front of us, but this could also be a situation that, like, he's so far ahead even if they lose, which it's just not looking like it's going to happen at this point. But even if he does lose, still going to be the MVP from the losing team because... Cryptic has been that impactful. Yeah, and again, just using one piece of utility to completely clear this out. And again, if the, if the attackers aren't even necessarily watching this, they may not be even aware that's happening every time, but he has perfect intel that this stairwell is open. As it now comes down to this first pick. What can teams do once they get it? It's detailed, showing up, finding Iroh with their pants down, unfortunately. Oh, oh great clean. response by Truo. One thing you need to be aware of of the that 
Striker Robot is it does have a limited range. It's not unlimited range of what it will tag. So I think True was just outside of range. Oh my Dave God. detailed a sense of security. But yeah, now Truro is getting activated. Team Truro is coming back into this. And I feel like they heard us. Oh, you want to see a show? Oh, wait, Cryptic, two more. Okay, wait a second, calm down. Time out, time out, time out. Okay, Cryptic. Is this a Thanos moment? Fine, I'll do it myself. What is happening here? He's purple after all. He's finally, he sees the Zeus. He's right here. Oh, they just moved it out of the way. Oh my gosh, I thought he was going to find the Zeus back there. That would have been disaster. Oh no. Zeus has been playing. Damn, the Zeus has somehow made its way all the way over to A site while well, this has been going on. This has been such a scrappy series of rounds. Like, I feel like there's so much planning that goes into this, but then at the end of the day, it just evolves into absolute bedlam. And we're watching the minimap, and we... I, I still struggle to, to figure out how Cryptic was able to get the Zeus planted on the A site so quickly. If you know how to use movement and puck throwing and initial control, it's that good, but... They're going down. Zeus on the A side. How's he going to retake this one? I don't think you do, honestly. I mean, it is cryptic. Pops the stim. Pops the nanosphere. Bit of a rough bounce on that one, though. Not going to go into the side. Maybe we'll that off a bit. They know exactly where he's coming from. He'll have the wall, but has to deal with the players. And Okay, there's one, but the bomb is... No quick. time! Zeus is sticking down. That's a good Not enough time to make it work. Still featuring that vector wall and showing how useful it can be pushing into an area that you know Half -time is going to have a, a crossfire set up. I feel like that Truro play we saw was one of the most like, classic Truro Morgan plays ever is, you know, he gets a kill from an angle and then he immediately does his alt throw onto that exact same spot, like push out, take even more space, get aggressive. Um, I think, yeah, the, the Truro Morgan plays are just so fun sometimes when he's feeling himself like that. Big stuff there for sure. And bring ins back a little bit. 5 2 is definitely not the optimal score line if you want, if you're a, a Team Tro fan. But still, I think kept bringing back a little bit there, um, showcasing that. So we'll see if they're going to be able to make this happen. We'll see how scrappy this pistol round can get. Because so far from the attackers, it looks like B is going to be in their sights. A little bit of market pressure. A whole mine thrown out. Because it's thrown like a grenade, but it acts like a trap, like a mine. Thus, in the name whole mine, you use it to over areas. But a nice swing from Market! Hero gets one, gets taken down by Cryptic, but there is still Ira on Ooh. the side. Will they expect the final unit hanging out behind the site? Ooh, not sure. I'm not sure it's going to matter, though. K2, great utilization of the smoke there, popping on the perfect second. Just to catch Cryptic. Pants down a little bit as the pressure is continuing to come in here. Zeus has not yet been planted. There's still that one lone player back. The scythe cam, they know he's there, and everyone's flooding him. Oh, good shots with the shiv, but it doesn't Zeus find the kill necessary. The Woo. Zeus still goes down. Big plays here. Shiv's now coming out in hand. I love seeing the variety of these. We see a lot of carbons. We see the shivs coming out too as well. It really seems like it depends on the map and personal preference as the wave scan is going to activate here. Now you have that additional pressure forcing to drop the brat. Now real surprise <laughs> as that ammo does run out real quick. First wave scan comes out and K2 getting absolutely obliterated. Firing yeah. squad from detail and crew. Not a whole lot you Ooh. can do about that unless K2 says forget that. I have a second body. I had to come back in. Finds the second one as well. Let's go. But can he find the Zeus in time? Yes, he can. Yeah. More than enough time here. I was worried about that, but landing that first initial kill oh. was so important. I thought it was over and done. That wave scan spotted out both locations of K2's bodies. So being able to answer back despite the information disadvantage, very well done. And it just goes to show information doesn't matter. Utility doesn't really matter. You can click, click heads. Just click heads. It's that easy. Ooh, I love it. I got I, the best laid plans. Like I said, at the end of the day, it comes down to holding your nerve. It's for K2 to go out, get double peaked, double shot, obliterated, and then Cam to just do it again? Like again? Just kill the guys. Yeah. Just does it again. He just goes, you're not going to do that to me twice. Shame on me. You know, like shame on you. I mean, that takes just some confidence. And to do that here when you're down five yeah. rounds to two in the pistol, that says so much to be about the state of K2's mental. That actually makes me feel... That, that play did more for me for the sake of K2 than almost anything.
Oh, look at this push! They had a wave scan come through mid, and they pushed into their own smoke because they knew the wave scan would tag the player and they could shoot being quote unquote blind okay too a little over aggressive on that second push but regardless very very smart utility usage coming out from truo to get this advantage firmly in their favor trying to get close to evening the scoreboard absolutely massive i mean not quite able to hold that advantage dicey clawing one back but Again, Team Truro feeling themselves after that one. Beautiful use of the util. Again, Cam, I feel like WaveScan, more than any other single piece of utility that we've seen so far, other than maybe the smoke shift, has opened up so many potentials for crazy plays here. So I, I love seeing players yeah. take advantage of that. And, and again, really the team, I, again, I think what a showcase of teamwork in this instance. Dicey, 50-50 shot on that one. And just the throw. Yeah. The WaveScan tag is such a powerful aspect of that ability. It's not like a ping on the minimap alone. The tag on the other unit, the little hexagon, will stay on them. Which is why it's so important to clear it if it's thrown behind you like this and oh, I thought the second was gonna Same. happen. Same. That spray, spray transfer was Zeus so down clean. on the field. That had been with a full AR, that would have been just an outright sick 2v1. So we're gonna see the trap being laid here. Churro's gotta move through middle. Only 20 seconds left on the clock and Lost the round. Down. Doesn't matter. They're coming back. They're coming back into this one. Coming back. On the back of that play from K2. Like, again, there's a couple moments, I think, so far over the course of this today, over the course of this tournament, over the course of these, these matches, where you can look at, like, one round in a map and go, that made or break. Yeah. Me. And I think if, if Team Turo does end up coming back, and winning this first game, it is because of that play from K2. Yeah. That decision to say, I don't care that I just got straight 2v1, I'm going to go back in 1v2. Not just uh, the comeback economically, because if they went down, like on the scoreboard, if they went down from what, 5-2, then 6-2, likely saving the next round, or at least having a really hard time of things if you do want to buy tier 2, tier 3. Could have easily seen designated basically win off of this round but they but also not just economically but also just their own confidence into this and look how aggressive cryptic is pushing however wanting to bring things back cannot count them out they're not done yet cryptic just setting himself up for one man army this man is rambo runs in two vector walls amps himself up let's go Detailed is there to help clean things up on the angle because they have to be so cautious. They know it's pushing into sight. Bringing in the Spectre as well. Turn. The team play is there. The shots are there. One HP play. and a dream. Not wanting to let Team Truro run away with this. Detailed and crew back in this. The Zeus is in play in a four versus one situation. It's all going to come down to this last remaining player here from Team Truro, and they got their work cut out for them. And men helping Cryptic out. Has a spectre warning because of the footsteps. Dicey's gonna be the one to peek into it. Takes K2 down, six to four. Just when we thought that Truo was gonna be able to spin multiple rounds in a row, get a streak rolling. In detail, bring it right back and keep the advantage at two. Am I crazy there? Did he have an option to pick up another rifle and he held onto the whisper? <laughs> I feel like he did. I'm not sure. But the listen, don't sleep on the whisper. I do not want to be at that sick. range. Whisper sick. And I got to pick your brain on this one too, because we're coming into this now. If you know, it was almost the tie-up round. Seeing team detailed, keep themselves in it. What are your thoughts? What does Team Shrow need to do to try and close this one out? Just they're down a little bit. What, what do they need to do to get back in this? Well, Paul, I hate to break the fourth wall here. I was helping our next guest get set up, so I did have to look away for a couple of rounds. Uh, I'm catching up right now, but I'm going to say click them in the heads real good. Nice. I love it. When in doubt. Perfect. Oh! Oh! See, as I suggested. Oh, just do that. Oh, do that. my God! <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Take a breath. I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to myself. And Cryptic oh. has the wherewithal to turn. This is, oh, they do not want to like lose. That. Oh, no. Yeah, they are, they, 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 they felt the momentum start to shift. And then Cryptic just like reached out through the ether and was like, nah. 
luckily Truo was there to help try and shut this one down. That was bad. It was, a, it was about to start to slip. And while May still continue, I, I, I say, Truo, yeah, give us more harpy. Both bodies. That's that's massive. That's huge. Give us more harpy, K2, please. We love it. We love it so much. These are loud footsteps. K2's gonna have the buzz saw, but can't do anything with it. And I gotta say, we haven't been shouting Detail's name a ton here, but the play has been calm, consistent, so consistent. I feel like The Rock, really the anchor for this team. Let Cryptic go off and be the star. Let them be the distraction. Going down. A lot of this detail has been really, really solid here. Ira, the star player for Team Tro early <gasps> oh, on this oh. tournament cam, starting to step back up. The Zeus is in play. We're keeping running through this, swapping POVs here, and seeing what Ira can do, pushing it onto the site. Quick little headshot, three piece to end the round. Ira bringing it back. This, oh, I, your team lost. I have no clue how to follow the momentum of this matchup. I feel like we're about to go into multiple overtimes. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't out. really understand what the confusion is here. Like team detailed is just trying to get into their overtime comfort zone before they right. can close this right. out. They feel right. the nerves right now until it hits that 7-7 seven, seven score. And then the world just unlocks for them. Something turns on and they feel like, you know, all is right. Uh, detailed locks in. Also, I have to say between the games, we did hear from Cryptic in Twitch chat, they did mention that they are uh, not the team captain, they are simply detailed soldier. So we have the brave warriors coming in here uh, fighting for their their brave leader. I, you know, I just think, you know, I'm, I'm expecting 7-7 seven, seven is just very obvious. It feels right. It feels right at this point. It is the grand finals, so if there was going to be another time, go into OT, it will be now, but we need to see if Team Tro can find Six, six here. I am feeling that Riker setup. I might go back and break that one down because that Riker wave scan setup that we just saw uh, from Team Truro was masterful. And it, it got so much information. They know that it's either going to be a slow approach to Depot or it's going to be what it is, which is a hard hit on D. Look what is coming in now. Oh, trying to hold too many angles and Team Truro. Holding it down, the crossfire of doom. That was the Bermuda Triangle, if I've ever seen it. Holding that site beautifully. I, I, did they even take any damage? They took a pick of damage. Zeus is down That's on it. the field. And now K2 and Ira just continuing to push out. Swap side, swap to the other body. Push out through mid. This is a clinic. They want to bring this back to 6-6. Six, six. Cam, they don't want to go to OT. They just want to win the damn oh, game. Whoa. Dicey almost had that. Crouch saves K2 and makes it a flawless round, 6-6. Six to six. And it's still winnable if either of these teams takes both next two rounds in a row. We will be avoiding overtime, 8-6 victory. I cannot understate how important it is that Team Truro just did that without losing a single gun. Keeping right? The econ fresh at this point, absolutely massive. Huge play there from them, because I think... Basically, every piece of utility is being purchased every single round. I mean, from that initially that we, we saw in the trivia earlier, that 600 buy all the way up to 900 on the most expensive end of things. So being able to keep the, the, the money high, not having to buy those guns, yeah. we are seeing the util utilized to the nth degree. Max yeah. potential. Well, what's also important to note is that when you die, your utility doesn't go with you like your weapons do. So that does help things. If you go out early in a round, you don't lose all of the utility that you ended up not using. But... Every single dollar not having to be spent. This and oh, was sprayed out oh. a double with for K2. Couldn't quite get the triple. Detailed comes in and stops that one, but still a, a favorable trade on the market hold. Yeah, and that's going to make Team Detailed have to completely rethink this push. Losing two bodies there. That one's going to be tough. Oh, nicely done there from Ira as well. Baiting out the shots in the B side. Going to look to reposition this to try and capitalize. Because they know if they're making a lot of noise like that on the B side, there's a good chance they're going to try and push it somewhere yeah. else. The walls are dropping. Now we are seeing the rotation over towards B. No real surprise here given how fast the market play was shut down. Now the question is, can control? Uh-oh. I oh, don't think that's where that bounce meant to go. Mm, a little bit underwhelming, but the vector wall is going to help. But they know someone's on the back of the side, but it doesn't matter. I was able to get one. True, we get the second, but detailed, holding it down. Only one player left standing for it. Both units are up, but a one versus three. Zeus has been planted. 
Juice goes in. Here comes the wave scan. Got to identify both of these bodies. Will do so. The wall bang is there. Hello? I actually found the kill yet, though. Hang on. Oh, my God. There it is. Oh, no. There it is. Well. Round locked. Overtime yeah. locked in. Map point now. For Team Turo. It was looking very, very one-sided for a couple of Match rounds point. in the middle. Well, I'm not locked in quite yet, Cam. We have to see Team Detail get it. Well, no, over overtime center. point locked in. Match point found. Yes. Absolutely. And no, just wish. from a competitor's um, perspective, knowing that you have at least overtime, like as a worst-case scenario, is such a weight off of your shoulders. Oh, yeah. Again, I think we can we can look back to that round from K2. I know it's crazy to talk about how how like one play can galvanize a team, but like Team Truro was looking pretty down and out. It was 5-2 at that point. Coming off the half, able to completely rally on this, it really feels like they found their footing. The big thing here is Cryptic has not been able to have those same pop-off plays. That's really been one of the huge deciding factors yeah. here. Like, Cryptic has been such a menace. The, the wherewithal to try and shut him down. They push out here in oh. mid. Doing so again. K2 just going a little bit bigger. There's no way he should have gotten that kill. The backup. It's a. It's not just one person. It's not just a hero play from mid. It is oh a God. full designated team organized push from depot to mid control. These constant takes backed up by the wave scan. And now it's all in the dicey one versus six to bring this into overtime. <laughs> Do it, dicey. I mean, that's light work for dicey. I've seen dicey pull back harder. It's fine. You heard it there. Heard it there from Ben. Let's see what he can do. He's got full Anyways, shields. So game two. <laughs> <laughs> that timing would have been so funny if the wall wasn't there. Yeah. Get him next time. Yeah. I I respect the. Event. Here it is. Oh, wait, that's one. one. Calm down, five, Dicey's five cooking. To go, five to go, absolutely. There's one, there's one, there's one. Okay, come down. Oh, there's a couple more. Oh, there's the, all, the whole team. Oh, uh, you know. <laughs> ah, he got cheesed. It's not even his Yo, fault. Truro and K2 with 25 kills apiece, though? I know. That's crazy. Again, here on Skyway, the map that we've seen played the most so far uh, and one that, you know, we've seen played a, a dozen different ways, which is so cool. We've seen full sends in through drop. We've seen hard B main pushes. We've seen long lurks towards mid and A side. We haven't really seen too many fast jail rushes. I think that's sort of the one thing that we haven't seen a ton yet. Right. Nor have we seen that cheeky box throw uh, into the A site. We'll see if that's uh, going to be the case here as we are seeing the full stack here. Back towards the B site. Once again, team detailed on the attack. So it's going to be a quick take of the main and a delayed wave scan to make sure that Ira is in position to capitalize on it. But a counter uh -oh. wave scan is going to catch them out. They know that someone's here. We see the dual amp. And Ira is going to go down. Cryptic with the set. K2 answered with a response and got a double. But the push is still committed onto the B site. Yeah, we're seeing the push go in. Not able to keep the buff up going. That wasn't able to get the quick reset on the kill there. Cryptic the still Zeus. going through here with that brat. An absolute demon. Zeus has been now planned. with the recall, bringing it there. Oh, Multiple God. Players out. Does a ton <laughs> of damage, though, before going down. The full swing coming in from the spawn. But the Zeus is in play. The rest of the defenders now rotating in. Cryptic actually a little bit far back. Didn't actually get a chance to bring out that second body. So a little bit out of position here, but not capitalized on by Team Chiro. Yeah, there was still detail watching over uh, the cross from this defender side entrance, and detail gets the headshot onto Truo. Ooh. Answered back, but Cryptic is there for the re swing, and it is going to be the round claim by Team Detailed. Am I crazy? Is this the second? Did he got a 4K in the last pistol round. No, no, Ira got the 4K. In the Ira got the 4K. Pistol. That's okay. I got it backwards. The response now. The response. This time around, one to zero lead for team details. How are they going to pivot this into another another good start? Because remember, they had a good lead, certainly going into the second half of uh, the previous map before the comeback by Truo got mounted. So they're going to want as much of a lead here as possible because they know no matter how much it is, it's not going to be safe. 
yeah, I mean, they were up 5-2 to two in that first game. And, you know, True were able to, to claw that one back. So we'll definitely keep an eye on this, not wanting to give them any room to breathe at all. As you're seeing the wave scan coming in, pulling this all the way back. Doesn't end up finding someone, so knowing it's not a full commit onto the B-side. Actually tagging multiple members here. Great use of that. Swapping over to the other Spectre and having full vision of this pushing in towards the A-side. You can see on the mini-map the immediate response. Yeah. Team detailed. Yeah, I mean, throwing a, a pinnacle cluster grenade on a main because th that was enough things to be confident that it was a huge A main presence from uh, Cryptic and the rest of Team Detailed. So they have yet to make their way onto the site, but look how many defensive bodies there are just outside of A. Yeah. Speaking of the fast recall, we, yeah. Judd talked about that earlier. Cryptic considering throwing it over onto the island fast respawn. It actually tried to, didn't quite succeed there. We're seeing now the push coming into the A site, but the setup is well and truly good. Flashbang. Ira's going to pick that one up. The team's going to jump up here, shutting down the push in through jail. As you're seeing the tag now coming out multiple times on the wave scan, bringing in multiple bodies here. Surprisingly, not a huge a bit softer of a push than I was expecting here. And it's not a bad pivot to mid after pulling all of the defensive resources onto A, but we're at 30 seconds left. They need to commit to a site, and they don't, won't really have the time to get all the information to know whether... For example, B is going to be clear or not. It looks like they're going to go back to A anyway. I think they were maybe hoping that there would be a bit of over the middle and a swing back and forth. Instead, all the members of the defending team are still posted out here. There's only 12 seconds left. Gotta get Ooh, this nice. dude. We'll be able to do so. I think we'll have the time. Yes, Zeus does go down. The swing comes in. <laughs> it's there. Ira with a beautiful shot. Back to back. Detailed and dicey in quick succession. Diffuse coming on in. I mean, really good play by Detail to fake the Zeus plant to then get that first kill necessary with just enough time to get the Zeus plant the second time around. Regardless, though, Ira still reminding us why they are such a force. And even though their score didn't look as impressive the previous map, they could easily pop off given the, the right opportunities, the right circumstances. Yeah, I mean, again... Had a 4K at the start of the last time, then saw detail do the same thing, or sorry, sorry, uh, you know, saw the other player do the same thing, and then come back and saying, "Look, I'm gonna raise you. And I'll be up to a 5K myself." So that's the kind of play that you need. Again, helps galvanize the team independently as well. So being able to have a player on your team that you know can consistently pull off that kind of play is huge. And again, we're seeing back over towards this B side play. We'll see if the defenders are gonna play a little bit more aggressive. And yes, I think that is absolutely gonna be the case. We're seeing that pushing up in towards the B side. Solo take of the main. The grenade going out doesn't get too much damage, and the wave scan is going to okay, eventually find Ira. It was an initial pivot over to that platform to the right to try and catch a quick push off guard, but they are sticking Ooh. around. They want to take this fight, and the swing no. is going to land the first one. Not allowed to do that. Oh, goes in, pops the adrenaline. Pops back out with the enhanced vision and movement speed, but shut down there by Detailed. Again, Detailed, such a consistent player, finding those headshots. Absolutely massive, and this opens the way to go in here onto the B site. Five versus the Zeus. Three advantage. Zeus went going down. Zeus has been playing. No one's on the B site itself, on the defenders. So this retake is going to have to be fast. Ow! I know the player's coming through slow. Nice use there, though. And Morgan Kit to push the player out. Vector is, in fact, in danger. Cryptic and Dicey grabbing kills, respectively. As Zeus continues to just chip away. They know there's going to be players coming in from spawn. They know they have to keep the eye on Elbow, but drop the wall essentially open here. No! No, I don't even have to worry about it. They know exactly what the player is. Live by the Tempest, die by the Tempest. Ira gets shut down. One bullet is all that was needed instantaneously. Round four, economy surge. Who is going to be taking the lead as we head into the second half of the first half? Will a gap be formed in the scoreboard, or will it stay as tight as it did at the start of commons? I mean, given how well these players have played throughout the day, given how consistent they've been, 
how resilient to tilt, which I have to say is a big one. Mm. I mean, even when we've seen, we haven't really seen too many massive mistakes, really. I mean, there's a situation you, you, you look into site, you look right when you should have looked left. It was 50 50 chance. What I love about this, these players aren't letting those moments get to them even a little bit. Like, it absolutely can be frustrating. And we're not seeing that in the gameplay at all. We are not seeing any sort of undo over the top like, plays that look stressed. Like, you know, even when we see Ira pull up pull, pull, pull plays like this, he feels confident. Why would it not when you can pull off shots like that? I'm not, like, a master at Spectre movement tech specifically, but, like, bunny hopping out to take a quick peek like that is some wild confidence stuff. Cryptic, though, answering back. Speed, so. Purple Cryptic, that's another scary sight. I just love this. Again, I just love the fact that not only the utility, not only does it impact the map state, but being able to utilize it as a combat multiplier or a force multiplier when it comes to, you know, movement or shooting or uh, gun speed. Oh, we're seeing it again here. Popping off one more time. 2v1 in this situation. Not quite able to find the shots, but that is where having that sort of semi-automatic AR not quite as effective as Dicey's able to push in gets the kill. I think the commitment to the enhanced vision gave enough there. of a window for the yeah. attacker rushdown to really get an advantage there. I wonder if Iroh tried to be a bit too cute with it. We've all had those moments, oh, this is so clever, but like it, it takes too many resources in terms of time and all that stuff. But speaking of time, 35 seconds left. They might have taken B main. The team details still need to take the site. Yeah, pushing in now, finally. Trying to leverage the Eagles here. Oh, the shot's coming out from the Duster. Whoa! Able to find it! Oh, the snap from Trill! Huge, absolutely massive play. That's exactly what the rest of their opponents are. Trill's down here trying to play both angles. Finds one. Can they find the next? Absolutely huge play from this team captain. That's exactly what the opponent is. He gets him down one after the other. Absolutely pop off play from Truro with nine seconds left in the clock. They know the plan has to come through. They can hear it. Is it going to be a bait? No, going Deuce for the full planted. stick. Cryptic. Absolute nerves of steel here in the 1v1. One of those coin flips. Was it a fake? Was it a full stick? But Truro was not worried at all. One bit of 5k and a Zeus defuse to tie it all up. 2-2. Two to two. This is Absolutely. still so very close. And that's what you love about this team, Truro. Any single member of their team, when called upon, can answer, can rise to the occasion, can step yeah. up, can pop off. Every single one of them has shown us that they can do it. And that's what makes them so scary. We know, we know the team detail can do it as well. But Detailed and Dicey have really been sitting in more of these support positions traditionally today for Cryptic. I need, I think from, I mean, we're seeing it on the scoreboard so consistent here. Either Cryptic needs to pop off, or the two of them need to go off the rails. Rifles on the board. Truro still using the Tempest here. I love it. The confidence play, man. He's just like, nah, I'm just gonna clear, I only need one bullet. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I mean, it also, the back and forth has meant that both teams' economies have been a bit uh, unsecure. So it, even with the economy surge, being able to afford full tier five, uh, tier fours across the board, uh, is not the easiest thing to do. If you're constantly dying and buying and, and dying and buying back, even with like round one. So whole mind discovered, whole mind spotted. Puck going to be thrown out across across from island, right in front of jail. Cryptic waiting, waiting for the util to come through. Oh, but all located. That was a huge one. That big wave scan, catching multiple members of the attacking squad, making them rethink how they want to go about this. Does pop the adrenaline link? Including the angles that was Ira once more, but absolutely slaughtered. Oh, I didn't even see the player that killed him. They're not done. Cryptic on the send. Two headshots with down. the Reaver, but Truro answering oh. back the Tempest. Like you said, only one shot is necessary if it's in the dome. Is it, was the Zeus dropped up on the high ground, though? That's something that's going to have to be thought about here as the rotation's coming through spawn. Oh, my goodness. No, it's Game not on the high chicken. ground. It, okay. it can't be on the high ground. If it was on the high ground because there are no specters left, it would be reset back to spawn. We'll be able to go through and grab it here. Wait for that moment. You go pick that up. Get that in play. 2v3 situation. Great flashback coming out, though. Perfectly wow. timed from the defenders. Ira, absolutely clean. 
That's exactly what they needed because Cryptic looked like they were about to start building momentum cam. You cannot let that happen. Yeah. I just, again, to that, that, that moment about um, the Zeus and understanding the mechanics around it, it's such an important thing to know, especially as a new player, on how the Zeus works on a couple of small key details like that. So if there's ever, most of the time, it's not something that you can really control or like specifically play for, but if, if there's ever a concern that uh, the character holding the Zeus will go down, try and avoid them being on the high ground so you can avoid running into the awkward moment, the walk of shame going back to attacker spawn when there's 20 seconds on the map. Yeah, that's not, not an ideal situation. And one thing I do want to point out, because we haven't actually talked about it at all here, we talked about the economy quite a bit, but you can actually buy weapons for your teammates in this game as well, which yeah. does help sort of offset something. Something we haven't talked about, something that I know from Valorant personally that I absolutely adore, and I'm so glad it's been carried over here, but I'll put that aside for now because we've got a player going purple. we got Ira on one side. We got Cryptic on the other. Who can pop off first? Who can find the moment? Or will they find each other? But no, instead, it's team... Oh my god, it's team detailed across the board, taking the pain to team Truro, and they just took over. There's a crew. Okay, I was gonna say, there's a Crusader right in front of Cryptic, and he kept the Whisper, but, you know, didn't want to overextend to grab that. I just. Has been it yeah, looked like lost. potentially oh a love of the suppressed SMG. But it, uh, it's, it's scary whenever Cryptic goes purple, that's always Next uh, round a scary is sight. Switch. Now with the Blackout in hand, my personal favorite of the ARs, and then one a lot of the top players do tend to enjoy as well, that higher rate of fire, a little bit easier to control the spray. Uh, again, it really comes down to, I think, also a confidence play or, or just for fun, quote unquote. Uh, I know a Reaver for a lot of folks is, is something that they enjoy using just because of that one-shot potential. Um, those pop-off plays, finding those headshots. So we'll see uh, if that stays in the hand there. I imagine it will. How it'll be utilized as we're going into yeah. this cam tied up three to three it literally does not get closer of course team Shiro up one to zero in this series detailed and crew they need to go off here they need to start off at the end of this round right and they need to go in pistol strong place wave gang going out hero finds one but gets traded but ira is still there well not anymore detailed takes them take, takes care of them what? This is awkward. Okay, so whenever if you're able to find lineups that you can land wave scan on top of things to make it more difficult for enemies to shoot and take care of it, those are key lineups to try and remember. That is a monstrous. Oh my god. Oh, the distraction? Oh, that timing was almost flawless. Who is this player down in mid? Actually leaving an opening here. Now drop is being taken. Drop is open. This is massive. This is the exact opening that they need take over the B site knowing that they have a clear path in but will it end up being a bait I'll laugh if this ends up being some sort of crazy cross map play over to the A site but no instead cam why go for it? Let's make it simple make it simple the wave scan is not going to spot the player sitting behind the box no. so they that think could it's clear be... they think it's open the yeah they think it's blank. completely free the Zeus does go down the K2 finds cryptic now the Zeus is in play nice flash they're delaying the slowing at cryptic the long range shots absolutely flawless holding down at this side of the map Rift team going in here trying to watch up the diffuse they be able to do so through the smoke can they find the player forced off of it now going back into the diffuse trying to find the, the tap in response no cryptic just going too big oh my goodness this player does not stop yeah and dicey as well a really good push in from B main to make sure that uh the retakers didn't have full control of even half of the site to get that uh, defuse of the Zeus. Side swap now, four versus three advantage. It's, it is an advantage, but it's the narrowest of one. So even here, I don't think Team Detailed can be too comfortable. No, I would think not. It's so funny. When we came in today, we're like, yeah, this is going to be fun. It's a community tournament, etc. Don't have to get too... Too crazy. Cam, I'm finding it so hard to control my hype right now. I'm sorry. These plays have just been so nutty. And seeing some of these individual players just have these pop-off moments. Again, Cryptic. We've seen what he can do here at drop. The only reason it's not going to happen is because the team is very smartly over a day. There it is. Another wave scan area that cannot get cleared by the opposing side. Spot a couple of members in jail. I don't know if Cryptic's secondary unit was recognized. Smoked off regardless, but oh, oh, nice detail from Cryptic, but didn't expect no. the re-swing by Ira. But still, it's all coming up yellow in the kill feed. Oh, go back to Ira. 
I was popping off. Zeus still needs to get planted. Still hasn't gone down. Still plenty of time on the clock, though. We're seeing both teams just trying to posture and position in around mid. Nobody wants to overcommit to this A site. It is a wasteland right now. The body's just lying there. Sort of uh, an indicator of the scrimmage that started us off here in this round. A minute left on the clock. Instantly dealing with the wave scan. Still, Intel gathered. Oh. You shouldn't be allowed to do that, Ira. That's that's not cool. Here's three. Here's the push. And the Zeus being dropped behind Gale is very, very awesome. Seeing trades coming back and forth though from both sides. 36 seconds and counting. The Zeus being down here, so difficult. But if it's anyone who's going to make it happen, Ira, who has been so consistently popping off, they don't realize there's a third player in there. Did they spot them both? This gets the first one. That's five. Would it be an ace for the win? Can they make it happen? Oh, to go the gun! Pick up the gun! No, the timing! But Ira with oh. the five ca- Oh, no. Cryptic, absolutely nutty there at the end with the brat of all things, too. I, I, I don't know where to go uh, from this, from here. What team has momentum? Well, it, it, it's so back and forth. I mean, yeah, it, it's team detailed 5-3, to three, but so many of these, of these rounds still are so close for Team Truo, and I think if they can win this next round, Team Detailed, then we'll say it, it could be a confident enough lead to go ahead with the win, but... Man, the comeback potential from Truro we know is going to be uh, up there regardless. Yeah, I think at this point, too, it's, you know, we knew going into this, this was detailed map. They, they've won on it so far today. They are the favorites going into this. But so many of these rounds have hung on a knife's edge. And it really just comes down to which individual player can step up in that moment. And I think which one can play their life that little bit better. We've seen so many players not necessarily succeed on the first round. It's when they come in, it's when they bring in that second body to do the work, though. If you're detailed, you're just limiting those options like crazy because picking up multiple kills in the mid. Good luck trying to push them in there. Oh, and not having detailed, getting punished for it, though. So focused on that other specter, and that's the danger. You don't get that warning. You don't know what's going on. Ooh. Instead, ooh, nice shot. That hit fire hit the head, so quite a bit of damage onto Cryptic, but Cryptic still finds the second on the K2, unable to get traded. Continuing to posture here in jail, wanting to make it so that the opposing team, Team Tro, is not confident to push in onto this A site. He is completely clear that the Zeus is here. The Zeus is at A. They have to commit now. Cryptic just continuing to put up the damage. The buzzsaw back in hand. Going purple. Continuing to extend the buff. Only 20. Continuing to put it down. And with that, the kills come through detail. The final one, 6 to 3 cam. You said that would be the break point for you. It's going to take, I don't want to say a miracle. But something close for Team Truro to bring back this game number two in clutch 2-0. With two rounds lost in a row, they have full armors gifted to them uh, as a helpful comeback mechanic. It's not quite the economy surge, so I don't know how good of a buy they'd be able to come into this next round with it. And also, as far as tilt goes, this was detailed, like team details map that we expected to go their way. So hopefully if it does end up tying it up one to one, maybe I'm talking too ahead of myself here, but if, it, if that does happen, Team Truro hopefully will be able to reset going to map three mil. Which they will see so if they strong. let it go that way to begin with. I mean, you don't want to think that way. You, you, you always want to believe you can come back. You never want to, until it's over. We've seen crazy right. comebacks. I mean, the 9-2 meme exists. You know what I mean? Like we've seen some nonsense Ooh. in tax shooters over the years. I and we saw a comeback in, in game one. Oh, yeah, that's true. I yeah, they can wave that... scan catch someone at mid. They're taking more space Multiple to counter players. wave scan back. Pushes them away. 
very quiet opening. All the members of the attacking squad over here towards A, looking for this opening pick. They're they're wanting their opponent, the defenders to get a little bit cocky, a little bit over aggressive. They're going to try and bait it here. Activate this. Go in. Activate the adrenaline link. Look to try and pick up these players. Ira been doing this all day long. Finds one. The smoke comes through. Can still spot through. As we are seeing the push now coming in onto the site. Going back and forth. Going to activate it a second time. But getting a little bit too cocky there, Cam. We've seen this multiple times now. Just trying to get fancy. Just go in and shoot. Ira, we know you've got the shots. The you don't need to go over the top with it. But the trades are there. K2 is there to back Ira up. And now it is a player Practices. advantage. While the Zeus is getting planted. The lives Zeus might be the planted. same. But the players no. who what? are still being favored. Okay, now it's a bit more equalized. But Zeus down. Advantage attackers. And it's a 2v2, but also a 3v3. So again, keep in mind, two players up for both squads with three bodies total between them. Just sitting here, Ira, on this. K2 picking up Dicey, though. That one's absolutely massive. Getting that first kill, getting that advantage, starting to swing their way is big. And we're seeing K2 just continuing to put up the damage. Oh my goodness. I don't know if Cryptic would want to go for this. Granted, I believe Cryptic, yeah, only has a Whisper on this unit coming in from that drop hold. There's no reason to save an SMG! Mm. And if yes, you can deal is. any economic damage, that's going to be useful. Clutch. Now, in defense of the Whisper, I will say there is an interesting uh, reason that you might choose to save it. Not saying Cryptic is the player who would do this, but that is one of the weapons that you're able to pair that you can get the with prototype, prototype off with. Yes. So there is some small argument depending on if you know, hey, if we're talking about ten, someone who did play the op earlier, maybe that is valuable enough to want to save if you're going for that. I don't think that's Cryptic style, but yeah. is there anyone <laughs> in the in the audience who might be thinking? Uh, I want to save the whisper. One yeah. consideration. Yeah, that is something to always be thinking about at the end of a round when you see multiple weapons in front of you. It's not just do I want that weapon instead of yes. instead of the one I'm holding. It's knowing what having that weapon allows me to buy for cheaper at the start of the next. Round. Oh. oh, JK. <laughs> yeah, that was. A lot. You know, maybe I'm good. Maybe I'm fine. <laughs> We're seeing this now coming in. Ira once again just utilizing the full kid here, pushing and super confident. They can't hold both these angles. The defense is there, detailed. Finally getting traded back. The Cryptic and crew are here, looking to try and make this a 7 4, looking to try and get on this match point. Cryptic making it look easy to do so, keeping that buff alive, staying purple, and now making this so much harder for Team Truer to try and clinch this. The Zeus is being brought through mid. It was a full rotate over to the B side. Well, I say that. Detailed was holding out mid. Matches the first. Syro with the trade. Last player standing using the stim for a heal up. Only three bullets left. Should go for the reload. Does have the Zeus. Does have the Reaver. Does roughly know where the opposing team is. I oh, say no. that. Oh, you say no, that. I do not. <laughs> no. no. Roughly. Roughly, no. <laughs> Very roughly, as it turns out. Not expecting that rotation in through bottom mid. Match point. Oh, oh dear. The proverbial caught with your pants down. Mm. Yeah, not the most enjoyable feeling there. Seven to four. Match point for team detailed. The comeback is not with it. Is not with like out of reach. No. For team Truro. Um, I would like to see Ira stop with this, the, the enhanced vision back and forth. I really do think it's a bit of a overcommitment onto that ability. You'd be surprised how much that swap can sort of delay not just the timing of the push, but also the mental reconfiguration of getting back into your other body. And they again, might disagree. It, it, they might disagree, but... No, there have been multiple... Yes, but there have been multiple times now where they've they've swapped back and the gun hasn't been up yet when they've started yeah. to push out. It's happened. They've died at least twice now because of that that we've seen on, on stream. So it's definitely been a bit of a factor. I get you got the enhanced movement speed. You got the enhanced vision. But like we know Ira's a crisp oh. enough shot. They don't necessarily need to worry about that. Talk Did Cryptic though, know exactly where that wave scan was going to go? Stepped in front of it to not get spotted at drop? That is some insane game sense and understanding 
for lack of a better term, the meta of Riker wave scans on this map. Yeah, that one was pretty big, because again, that's... You would expect there to ping someone there, you know, and, and also to not hear the sound of having to rapidly move out of the way. Ah! Talked about this, though, from Ira, and again, doesn't end up being the huge factor, though I don't think that was really a... Was that, yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't that was an enough. issue with the enhanced vision. That was more so just an unlucky angle of the peak. They start Once to again, add up. Somewhere. Advantage yeah. again, still maintained for team detailed. Continue to extend that. Oh no! And you'll notice there again, folks. If you're looking to improve your own game, hold that aim. Hold that. Hold that reticle just outside of the curve. Give yourself a fraction of a second. To find that. And may, well, oh, not saying you're necessarily going to hit shots like detailed, but darn, does it make it easier? Holy crap! Defenders have won the match. There it is. Detail with the four K. Eight to four, tying this series up. We are going to mill. Regardless, they feel comfortable on Pinnacle here, even um, with perhaps a bit of a, a slowdown in their own performance Pulse at the fine. end of the previous map. The Pulse Find from K2 immediately goes out to scan B main and instantly pulls through their other unit to watch A main. The only thing of a concern now will be mid. Seeing the push coming in now through Banana Cryptic going full aggro. Oh my goodness, the rest of the team is here. They know some of the follow. -up. Where's the peak? Where's the poke? The game of chicken pushing around the corner. K2's actually a little bigger, but detailed is there to find the trade. Is already the push coming in towards Banana and the B site. Will there be an overcommittal, an over rotation on the defenders, though? Will detailed and crew hard commit to this? I don't think they will. Cam, they're already pulling back. Nairo is ready and ducked. We saw them. Uh, sorry, Hall, not Duck. Hall, the opposite of playing angle. But it is going to be an A site take. Ira sneaking around. Those footsteps should have been heard. Oh, oh, look behind you. Oh, completely oh, missing the specter no, that no. they crossed. Well, oh, that was their teammate specter that they crossed. I think. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Same thought. I'm not sure. Zeus has been planted. Either way, so, the Zeus is going down. Ooh, Cryptic and Dicey landing some really good shots. It's all going to be on Ira now. One versus three, two versus four with units and a good cluster grenade. Right, Spins it up. Long range shots with the carbon. Not the easiest. Yeah, rare miss there too. Not even a single one. Great use of the grenade, but in the end, just too many bodies here for team detailed. I don't know how to try and make this one happen. All the simple answer is they aren't. The Shiv comes in, twisting the knife on that first round. And I think, despite what a lot of us were expecting, potentially, again, predicting Team True here, not looking quite as clean here on this last mill of the day. One pistol, and there were some good interactions at mid. It wasn't a complete fold. And a we'll see how they respond here. Oh yeah, it's going to be a full committal. The Tempest brought out by Ira. Or are they going to be the B main nightmare that, the, that we saw previously? No backup. Only one extra player at Banana. Okay, no, they back away. They back away. They're not going to commit to it. Which is probably the smart decision. They're going to go up the door. Ooh. Instantly coming out here. Looking to try and get that initial pick here, and there's a very good chance I think they do. This is not necessarily going to be expected. We've seen all the saves and not the first one, and it's no cryptic. What with the whisper at that no range? No justice. Wow, that feels like he should get ball. away with that every time. Oh dear. Now dicey, now dicey with multiple frags pushing into the B site. Basically claimed at this point. The, uh, the main approach here. from the defenders that we need to worry about. Going out with the vector wall here. Grenades being dodged. Ooh. But Ira slightly bigger. The spike cryptic getting Zeus a little bit planned. of the opening there. Dicey's just continuing to put up the shots. Both teams committing into the guns here in the second round. And Zeus is down. They gotta worry about the thing from Banana. Dicey is able to find it and then Cryptic holding the buzzsaw at the angle. Takes Ira out, Dicey with the 4k to end round two, two to zero lead. And with that buy coming in from Ugh. Team Truo, 
the economy is a bit of a concern. Again, this is not like other attack shooters where if you force buy after losing the pistol, you are out of money. You can still continue to buy. It just you'll just be uh, waiting a bit longer in order to be able to afford tier four rifles. Yeah, so I think they're actually probably pretty okay with that last round, even though it feels bad. Um, you, you still expect to lose that second round after you lose the first one. Right. Your goal is just to buy light so you can come into that round three. The, your, your magic number is kind of 4,100 is what you need to afford a tier four um, AR pair. And then you get that heavy armor for free Right. Uh, on, on that loss streak. So I, I wouldn't be too upset if I were them in the situation. You know, you see Tro opting to buy a tier three and a Mali instead of tier four. Maybe he couldn't just quite afford it. But yeah, that's it's. I think they'd probably feel pretty all right. Maybe push onto the site. Yeah. Only one person left. Trying to defend, and well, Iro's gone down. Cryptic makes good quick work of Zeus them. A site flamed. Zeus going down. Tro finds one in return to kind of even the odds. Now we're seeing the pressure coming Ooh. in nicely. The K2 with multiple kills finally getting picked up by Cryptic. But what looked like a really clean entry there. Caught off a little bit as now the rest of the squad needed to rotate in from B. Cam, that might be the fastest plant we've seen yet today. Really, really fast. The M49 Fury pulls Ooh. out and man, very low fire rate. But if you boost it up with the dual amp, you'll be looking good. 1v1. He shot. Tro knows. Goes in, gonna Ooh. go for this. Does have the grenade. Throwing the bees! Oh, stick it. Oh, Not so the close. bees! No. So yeah, I mean, Ben, you're right. My math is poor. My understanding of the economy still has some work. We saw some uh, tier fours on the defender side of things, but regardless, three to zero lead for Team Detailed. This is starting to look a little scary for Team Hero. Yeah, and again, we had such high expectations for them. They've done so well traditionally on this map. And then the question became, True himself not having really great game number two in the series, will that necessarily affect the mental there? Because you're right. He scored five kills in one round and then six in the rest of the game, which is a little bit tough. So having to try and push back this, Ira's obviously stepped up a big way, but I need to see Truo put this, you know, but this is his team. I need to see him step there it up. Is. I need to see him yeah. pull off more stuff like that. I call. He answers. He needs to keep doing it. Heavy mid control coming out from the defenders. They got a kill. They got multiple members of presence. Wave scan gets shut down before it can give too much information away. Oh. He needs oh, to no. that. Oh, it's falling apart. No. Well. This is disastrous, Cam. I mean, I know it's just a couple of kills, but Tro and Scro they, they not only need to win rounds, they need to win rounds dominantly. They need to start to build up some economy because, yes, even with the boost, even with the free armor, it is really going to start to hurt if they cannot consistently find some of these rounds. And now the rotation coming in towards the B side as well. I love this. Having the bot go in doesn't end up being enough, though. Great prioritization from K2. Yeah, I, I was worried seeing K2 in the back of the site that the time was being tailed would be off but oh cryptic cryptic this is there for the response there for the answer quick little wave scan back at mid to give some more follow-up information because there was enough time there for the rotate from the defenders and there's another member back onto the site the zeus still needs to go down still zeus they, know what they do now Caught with a grenade in hand, but a great trade there from Dicey. Exactly what they needed. And now it is a 2v1 situation. The stim is coming out. The Zeus is being planted. Both Zeus players looking to try and rotate, and they need to get this kill. Need to do it quick and need to do it clean. Bro is being very mindful of not stepping out into uh, B main. Right. Likely an angle held, and indeed Cryptic is able to win that fight. Bro not able to readjust that aim in time. Four to zero, the streak has yet to get stopped. Yeah, this, this is where is it gets scary. Man. This is where you start worrying about like true runaways where, you know, we saw um, in some ways I'm getting flashbacks to the match versus Team Steez on Skyway again of, you know, you just see a team start right. taking over. When does the momentum swing back? Will it? It needs to happen now. They need to win this. I think, again, we saw 5-2 and still able to sort of come back from that deficit, which is not insignificant at all. 
but I think even getting up to, to five zero would be would be catastrophic if I'm Team Jarrell. Pulse Finder once again, looking at the main, giving Ira the opportunity to push out of halls pretty much for free. And now the search through Banana is going to get further information that it is likely an A hit. Yeah, here now, having fully confirmed that the flash goes up to secondary toss. No! Just try and keep this pressure back. We'll take some of this additional damage, though. Try and find the angle. Players poking in and around. Detail goes down first. Truro is there. I were to follow up. There we go. That's exactly the series of picks they needed. The defender's not quite able to line up the angles. Now instantly rotating back. We'll see what the job is from these defenders here. Will they be able to find this pickup in mid? That'll be clutch. And they yep. are. Hey, do find Scriptic. Now, this about... is the team Truro that we have been expecting, have been waiting for. I was going to say one of the things we've talked to you about is just being disciplined in really little ways too and i really love how on site ira starts that recall for their specter and then knows to not peek out even though yep. they know there's an enemy ahead it's like i'm going to wait for this to finish then peek because i don't want this long recall interrupted yeah uh, if that would be if they die mid recall they're going to make this long walk back from b and that flawless round is unbelievable for them at this moment that is hugely important because Cam, if you know what is now 4 1, could very easily be 4 3 if they can continue this momentum. Yep. Keeping all of the guns, their economy has been right on the line. They've done a yeah. beautiful job balancing it, but Razor's Edge. Yeah, the it being a flawless is not only good for their mental and their confidence, but also, as you say, for their pocketbooks, for their economy, oh, yeah. not having to buy up. Sure, I think one of them, I think, is still on a tier three, but. That hasn't been a concern for them for times. Like, they're all so strong with the Tempest. I imagine holding onto that weapon and not forcing the uh, the tier 4 and giving themselves a little bit of a buffer going Pulse into fire. next round, which would be the last round of the half. Pretty big. And also, I want to call out, we haven't really talked about it so far, but obviously these players, oh, Ira. Uh, these players uh, had infinite money on this on the tournament server, which means we get to see all the fancy skins. And I have yeah. to say, it's been so nice to see all the fancy skins. I can't wait to get my hands on some of these. Just as, as an aside, as a random note, I saw it in the last one. I was like, that's that's a cool skin. Uh-oh. I don't think this angle is going to be... Oh! Ooh, the timing. Accidental best timing? Accidental best timing? Hey, accidental or not. You're lucky than good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Cryptic's looking out. Okay, but that little uh, scan by the Umbra kit, uh, is going to reveal there was someone else on the B site, and so Crypto cannot walk in uh, without keeping their own head on a swivel. Playing around this door angle. You hear shots coming out from it as well. True, able to pick up Dicey. That's massive. Here comes the spot and the run. Oh my goodness! Beautiful team play here, and just like that, the B site is wide open. Cryptic. The one man wreck, well, not even the one, but the, the scan to follow up, Cam. We've, so many times we have seen this wave scan just open up Deuce the site. Been planted. Knowing the angles of wave scans, that is a make or break it's looking like for a lot of teams. Not just on this map, but for all of them. We've seen the things come through now as Team Churro all stacked together, unfortunately. We're going to try and find these angles, find one. The trades continuing to come back. The players are looking up the site. We're going to try and keep oh! this going. Can't quite find the ace. Comes down to a 2v1 situation, but the Zeus is ticking down. Wave scan not tagging. Gonna be destroyed. 10 HP left. Has to go for the reload. The scan comes out. Baits the defuse to try and pull some targets into the scan to have the information on the peak and hopefully have the advantage. The round is lost anyway. 5 to 1 lead is still maintained. Last round before sides. And that's their team detail. They've, they've been, you know, winning four rounds in a row, had enough of an economy built up that even a flawless round wasn't enough to really make a dent in it, which means they were still basically even. And what you hate to see that, you know, it's so odd, it's such a dominant series of rounds for team detail, a flawless for team Tro. But Cam, right now, it's looking like a flash in the pan. If they can end this 5 2, the comeback is possible. 6-1? What is? Uh, I don't know. 6-1 is extremely scary. You basically gamble everything on pistol at that point. Yeah. Because you typically expect that, you know, the team that wins pistol is going to win round two. You have, you know, if they lost pistol and they're seven to one, you have to just all in hope that you can make some magic happen. It's just pretty, 
difficult this, position to be in. So this ballsy we'll by Ira. Ira is still committing to the B main take, even though they've been shut down quite a few times up to this point. But this is leaving a gap at mid that is being exposed by detailed. K2 goes down, wave scan all over to A. Seeing the pulse is coming through, and I think, you know, Ben made a great point. Put so much pressure on your future self if you let that get out of hand. You basically zero margin for error. In order to keep themselves in this game, Team Truro, someone on this squad needs to go off. Truro has had his moments. Ira as well. K2. We know independently, individually, any single one of them can make it happen. Someone needs to lead the charge. And who better than Truro? Who better than the lead captain to make this one happen? Streams off. Frames are locked in. They need to continue to find these kills. And K2 to follow up. That's exactly what they're looking for, Cam. I thought that Iro was going to go for the enhanced vision play once again, playing behind a uh, big yellow box. But Ira gets one regardless. Wave scan out mid by Cryptic, hanging, hanging out below duct, trying to get some information to figure out whether it's free or not to push onto Ira's position. But K2 is going to be here. Oh, the crossover. Uh oh. oh Detail finding an absolutely crazy opening. Now the shots coming oh, no. in. Beautiful use of the util. Cam, it's falling apart. Detailed. Zeus Just luck a little bit. Finding their way through. Dodging. Weaving. How the heck did they make that one happen? Yeah, I saw Ira's attention get split on that peak with the nano sphere, and then expecting a close player, seeing another player oh, at no. A main. That is one that you need to have like a strong mental focus to be able to respond effectively to. But it's still tied up. It's still two to two. Uh, now it's still one to one. But no, no. detailed. Oh, doesn't let God. us get any Easy. build up on the hype on the retake. It's just going to be a six to one lead on the half. Switch. Oh, I have to go back to a comment you made too, talking about, hey, these guys did have a lot of money on the tournament server, and they got some great outfits going. Detailed, I think, might have one of my favorite. He has these matching two orange uh, bodies together. I love seeing them in the scoreboard. They, you know, they say in life it's a uh, drip or drown, and by God, detailed is floating. <laughs> I'm gonna steal that. That's too good. I mean, they say skins for the win, and you know, I love it. And the fact in this game, too, you've customized every single element of it. So, gotta love that as well. As we get into what could be some of the final rounds of this Team Truro, so many of us identified as the favorites, needing to step up and then some as we get into the pistol round here. Game number three, the grand finals, the first invitational. Can they make it happen, Cam? It all comes down to these next few seconds. Defenders take mid B, attackers are going A. The tail as old as time, and Truo is getting the frags, getting the entries. Ooh, and they're making it happen. Just brute force right down in, right to yellow box, right on the site. Follow the up plant. there as well, and that's how you get it done. Zero margin for error, zero room for mistake, zero space for doubt. You have to have full confidence in your ability to get it done. Clutch or kick cam, it comes down to this. Still three bodies left, though, to try and throw at this. Will it be a problem for Team Churro? They need to get this first pick on the retake. A little bit of jump spotting by Cryptic at mid. Has, yep, there it is, waiting for it. Has the amp, the dual amp coming out, and a swing over to the right. Trying to bring this one back, but it's not going to be the case. It's all down to detailed and Truro with the 4K. The captain bringing the team back into this game, not letting it fall out of reach. It is still an uphill battle, but they have the economy advantage to try and tie things up. Bye, bye, bye. That's what they're going to do here, and they absolutely need to. They need to keep the momentum. They need to take advantage. Not only do they need to crush this round, but they then need to respond to the inevitable buyback that's going to happen after that. Because that's that third round and a half, that's where things get... Well, if there's dices in the lobby. It's going to get just like that. Because that's when your opponents are going to be on that tier four, potentially, unless they also have to buy here. And instead, it looks like Team Detailed is actually going to save Cam. They know exactly that that's what they're playing for. Yeah, if you have such a round lead, you don't need to worry so much about stopping uh, the comeback at this point. Get as much of an advantage as you can going into the next round with full tier fours, full armor, full everything. It's not cryptic, but looking for an opportunity. Thankfully, K2 is back. And I think, and I think you said it there. You know, they've 
you know, the economy is not just dollars in the bank, but it's it's rounds on the board. It's all things to play with. Your HP, your util, everything is a resource to spend. And they are spending that here knowing that they can basically sack this round to come back with a gun advantage and then try and squeeze these last two rounds home. I yeah. love this play call here from Team Detailed, but it just means that Team True have to work it out for them. They need to absolutely murder them this round. They cannot let them, they yeah. cannot lose any guns. Yeah. Oh, and they should uh -oh. know that uh -oh. I was there uh -oh. and they saw uh -oh. the puck trail. I was able to get one. They're back with the second. The opponent's one. Ready. Ooh. Not too bad. 4K for, for K2, Driving but not Zeus. quite as clean as they would have liked. That's a little bit unfortunate. I'm not even keeping one of those two guns across both players there. I think it was Ira. All right. Now here is the real test. They know they're going up against tier four weaponry. And their investment from the previous round is going to put them at a slight disadvantage. Because, like, unless they wanted a full save on the second round, they won't be able to buy tier four. You gear. can't. You can't. You cannot do that. You have to push your yeah. round advantage. Exactly. But that means that right now they are going to be at a disadvantage in terms of weaponry. So being intelligent about the, the zones of the map that they take is going to have to be what is uh, on the front of their mind. I've seen the traps going down. Defenders playing here. Banana going to be a key point of contention. I love the fact that we've seen a pretty good balance here. A seems to have been the favorite for a lot of teams, but we've seen a good amount of pressure coming in towards B as well. Playing around more of that sort of standard mid control. But we'll see if this play around Duct is going to be able to make it happen and in window as well. For a second, I got worried that Truo is going to go for the reverse window where you throw your puck up onto that ledge and then you immediately are sad because someone was watching that yeah. very spot. I've, I've tried that a few times. I thought I was so clever, and 100% of the times, it's worked 0% of the time. It's the worst kind of clump, yeah. I have to say. Yeah, not ideal. As we're seeing now, the rotation coming back in towards A. Like I said, this tends to be more of, I think, the comfort, but detailed. What is this position from detailed? Hang on. It's a tricky oh. one. There's very little uh, defense. There's, very, there's nowhere to go as backup. But if you pull it out only every once in a while and don't get flashed, it can be strong. But the takes are so powerful. Such aggressive maneuvers onto the site. Flash bangs everywhere. We're seeing Truro stepping up exactly when he needed to. Beautiful play. Sitting in hell looking to try and get a bit of a saucy angle. But the flash is absolutely flawless. And now Team Truro is here on the site. It's 5-2 to two in terms of bodies. They know exactly where the defenders are. At this point, Cam, you just save. Oh, that was I... the answer. They're going to continue to go back in. They know they've got the gun. They want to try and make this hurt. Oh, oh, oh. oh but oh, not... that was so oh, close. Oh, this? Truro, another 4K. There was some, like, equalized polarization on that crosshair. It just wasn't able to get brought onto the head of the player at A main. It kept bouncing off. Listen, there all I'm going to say yeah? is that in Twitch chat, after pistol round, I did see Spectre Expert Steez typed 8-6. That was all he typed. Oh! So we'll see if he's right. I yeah, I, I know. Myself, but it's I mean, a that, that would be the most. That would be the second most rounds run in a row we've seen today. I so. will say, like, Steez did hint at this map, this matchup on Mill being hype. Unfortunate that we weren't able to get uh, more details on that, but I, I'm starting to believe now. I'm not going to let myself because the second I do, I'm going to internally jinx it. So Fair. I'm just going to sit here and and float and vibe. Um, You're going to pull a lead and, and just hope that everyone has a good time? That's where I'm at. You know, that's where we're at right now. I just want to see us go to OT. Mm. That's all I really want at this stage. Can we get to OT? Can we go all the way? The night is still young. Three. I want more it Spectre. We'll make this happen again. As we're seeing the push out now on the B side. Not something we've seen before. Reminding me of 10s from the earlier rounds. Going hyper aggro on this site. Now the flank in from K2. Just keeping an eye on Banana. Like, ships passing in the night, though. B is so awkward right now. Oh, Cam, they're not seeing this coming at all. No, it's oh, a big no. open gap during uh, down mid through Banana or even uh, the main mid itself. Oh, uh -oh. oh, spotted! 
Still, Truro with the advantage. Detoed wasn't able to adjust. Truro finding two. Before JC found the pick up. Trying to find four! Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh Dicey, no. Oh, oh, Dicey. That's heartbreaking. And the flash as well. Pouring salt on a wound. And that's just, I think, is this the save? I asked in the last round. The answer is still no. Apparently. Still no. Hard I think it blend. should be. I, I, I keep saying it like I want to will it into existence. I think it's point to save. There it is. Or they wanted that. to give Truro the is. ace. We called Truro out for having an underwhelming performance previously. Truro is back. It took a couple of rounds. But with an ace one round away from tying this up, I'm a believer. I am a believer. Now, Team Truro is back. It was a small little trip. They didn't see the rock in front of them. They did not see the banana peel, but they are back on their feet, moving on in, coming in from the upper bracket, the dominating Team Truro. And from the upper bracket, from the top rope here after the start of this game, not letting them down. I also want to say, I asked for Ace some sort of music or something way back in one of the earlier play tests before there was one coming in now in this patch. So very glad to hear it. That's what I love to see. Thank you so much, Mountain Top Team, because we love to hear an epic ace as we're coming now. Six to five to flash oh, in mid. The defender's no. poking out. K2 finding multiple, but the response is there. But Truro just a little bit bigger. Cryptic absolutely shut down in the back half of this game. A name camp. We did not stop saying all day long. Going so quiet in this game number three. Now you got me thinking about potential future music packs for this game. Where I can have a the most obnoxious bass boosted sound whenever I ace. Just just bonk every yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, just bonk. <laughs> Basically. But after all of that kerfuffle at mid, Team True will find an open ace site. They're calling Straight the save. forward plant. Are they? Zeus has been playing. Surely you're gonna save feet. this round. Shortly. No, they're walking up. Oh, don't. Guys, I mean, it is play. three of them. It is all three of them still with one body. Left. It is. There is. Okay, they all three have bodies. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I love the truth. Oh, what is that spot? I don't know. All right. That's silly. That's silly. Giving Cryptic an opportunity. Cryptic, who I called out literally earlier in the same round, but getting cut in half. Collat shots coming through. Tied up. Team Truro is there. They got three kills on the approach, though. That was looking that was, very, was very close. If they weren't already on a streak already, I'd be worried about Team Truro's economy after after all of that. But tied up six to six. It was six to one on the half. What a comeback! And it sounded like you wanted to chime in on something there. Because now's the time, bud. Because we're oh, we're man. coming into the potential end of this. Six six is nutty. What happened? I think there's like skill vampires like between detailed and Truo. It's like literally like they just inverse each other. Last game we saw detailed up top, and now it's Truo up top, detailed at the bottom. They're uh, I don't know something weird in the air. It just feels like uh, Truo's got some plot armor coming into this. It does kind of feel that way as we're seeing the hyper aggressive defensive play. I love this holding the angle for the teammate. The shots don't immediately find the kill though, and that's massive forced back. I love the thought though from Cryptic and Crew. We've seen this played on B side, but I think this game that's the first time we've seen that hyper aggressive play in Barn. Yeah, a little bit. They don't overcommit to it because the high ground catwalk area of Barn is, is a bit too much of a threat. But K2 finds the opening once again, finding an exploit through Banana. Yep. We're seeing first pick there on the detailed again once through the mid, but this time not done completely hidden, not completely secret. I know they're here. The shots are coming through, picking up one. Can they find the trade? Cryptic. A name I feel like we are constantly saying. Always making an impact here. Gonna Ooh, that, shift back yeah, that was a, the, the fastest transfer. Uh, the, the transfer. Tra fastest uh, teleportation. Using a smoke to get everyone over, but detailed is also yeah, here. Killed. Gets a second. Crusader is finding heads. And the second it feels like Team Truro is going to look to run away. Details says Stop absolutely it. It. not. You may have plot armor, but I, <laughs> I'm i not losing this plot. Absolutely not. As we're seeing now, 1v4 situation. But who's going to do it? It's Truro, the player who stepped up so far today. The player who's put in the hours, put in the time, Ooh. put in the shots, putting... Ooh. 
Oh, this one away. Not quite able to get it done. The lead not being conceded, and now it is match point. Match and series point for Team Detailed. But they're only one away. Last round of regular time. Could still easily be won by Team Truo, especially with the economy that they've built up. They're going to be full buying into this as well. They're not dropping down to Tier 3s, Tier 2s uh, after that loss. Oh dear. And now, now Cam, I think, is the biggest question we've had to ask this entire tournament. Because if you're Team Truo... You're on a roll, you're on a roll, you're on a roll. Momentum's building, it's building, it's building. Confidence is getting high. Heart, heartbeat, the adrenaline is pounding. Hands are getting a little sweaty, you know? You're, you're, the jitters may be coming through. How you can now respond after the loss. This is the question. Ira, be getting a little bit too aggressive. Cryptic taking advantage, at least K2, bringing one back. But I, I think there's a very good chance we see Team Detail take this, being up two you know, right or you know, or two I kills to one. Yeah, this, but it's going to be close. Yeah, it's going to be real close. Yeah, really strong hold, and now the approach from the attackers is going to have to be rethought. They're pulling the Zeus out of a main, going to go back up through mid. They they hoped, I imagine, that the conditioning of banana would have been enough to pull the resources away from a, but the gamble didn't work out, or rather, it, it might have worked out if it was a gamble for team detailed. Coming up mid, coming up through exhaust. A2 is looking for the opening once again. Ooh, it traded by Truo, but traded. still, with the advantage maintained. And the big thing here, of course, it's it's while it's 3v4, it's three active players versus two bodies. Well, as I say that now, 2v2 situation is Truo is picked off. Detailed, stepping up here, the team captain, they know exactly who these players are. The flash comes in, beautifully timed, that is absolutely massive, that was the kill they needed. Zeus is down, the crossfire, the angle is there, not expecting the player to still be on site, it all comes down to this. Zeus Carrier is killed, these final shots, these final moments, will they be able to bring this one back? The players flood the site, and that's going to be the match. Detailed and team get it done.